You've often said that you are the happiest man you know. I think people would be very interested to know what are the springs of that happiness. My happiness came, a feeling of that happiness, feeling, the conscience of that, came right after an attempt, I mean, attempt to take my life. I mean, I wanted to commit suicide at the ripe age of 20 because I arrived at a sort of zero hour, if I may call it like that. You know, I mean, there was nothing for me. I was stuck in Berlin on my way to Paris. I couldn't get there because I had no money. I promised to come back with some money and then give concerts again. I couldn't afford it anymore. I was in a hotel in Berlin, which after a few weeks I couldn't pay anymore for my room. The, the woman I loved very much who was married and promised to, do, to, to, to divorce and marry me didn't and broke up with me. I didn't dare to, to speak about it to my parents and so, so I was completely cut off from them. Nobody knew where I was. Well, I tried to commit suicide and it, I still didn't live. I mean, it didn't go. I, uh, some things I tried to hang myself with broke and I fell on the floor and then... then I was sometimes happy, then I played a little piano, then I was very hungry. And when I walked into the street, I was born again, in a way, you know. I was giving up my life, and then, then I came back to it. But this coming back was a very strange one, because I suddenly realized, quite clearly, what a fool I was before. That life is not at all depending on things like not paying a hotel or like a woman who might leave you or like uh, with a career being stopped. Life is, is what it gives you. It's, it's in front of you. Do you believe in God? Of course I believe, but my God is not a gentleman with a beard. It is a power. It is an incredibly extraordinary power. I was preoccupied all my life, and I still am, with the one question which matters. One single question matters. What are we here for? 